Now to developments out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, where protests over the police shooting of Jacob Blake turned deadly. At least two people killed, a third injured when police say a teen gunman opened fire on protesters. This was our breaking news on Morning Rush yesterday. 17 year old Kyle Rittenhouse is now in custody this morning, charged with intentional homicide. The Illinois native expected to appear at an extradition hearing tomorrow. He could be tried as an adult. According to videos posted on social media, Rittenhouse is a Blue Lives Matter supporter, describes himself as a militia member protecting life and property. Cell phone video showing the teen heavily armed and walking through the streets Tuesday night right before the deadly shooting. Police say the men killed were 26 and 36 years old and lived in Kenosha. And we're learning new details about the Kenosha officer who shot Blake seven times in the back. He's been identified as Officer Rustin Shesky. The Wisconsin Attorney General says there's no body cam video available as officers do not have that equipment available to them. Also that Blake admitted to having a knife in his possession. The officers involved have been placed on administrative leave. The U.S. Justice Department announcing a civil rights investigation into the police shooting. And the shooting of Blake heavy on the minds of so many, including Atlanta rapper T.I. He joined national leaders and civil rights activists in having an open conversation about race and how to heal America. Nick Sturdivant live in Atlanta with much more. Good morning, Sheba. The name of last night's tour is called Hill America. It made a stop here in Atlanta. You have people from different backgrounds pitching in on that conversation. And in on that conversation, you had a pastor, you had someone that was shot by police. You also had a police officer and others that gathered on stage to talk about love, race, and what America can do. And this comes less than 24 hours uh, after more than uh, 100 people gathered here in downtown Atlanta to protest the police police shooting of Jacob Blake in Wisconsin. The conversation also centered around police reform, the group applauding several NBA teams for boycotting playoff games in solidarity for Blake. And as you mentioned, Atlanta rapper and mogul T.I. stopped by to discuss the black dollar and how it affects major corporations. Every dollar we spend is a vote mm -hmm. for a corporation, is a vote for a product, to vote for a brand. So for us to not utilize that strength that we all collectively have is leaving, uh, is leaving food on the table. And again, that was Atlanta rapper and mogul T.I. And, and before making stops here, uh, making a stop here in Atlanta, rather, uh, Hill America has also made stops in cities like uh, Minnesota and uh, Dallas and also Detroit. All right.